Hello? Hi, Ruth. The new Maverick X3s are here? That is awesome. Go ahead and have the guys build it at the shop and leave it on the loading dock. Yeah. We're super excited today. Pitbull Power Sports just got our first set of Maverick X3s. They got them back at the loading dock. STI shipped us in some wheels and tires for it. We're going to mount some 32s on it and get this thing up here and do a walk around. I'm going to go get it for you guys and we'll get this party started. One of the coolest parts about these new Maverick X3s is the tilt wheel goes way down and they come for the first time ever with these half doors. Of course you can buy the lower half from Can-Am and the factory seats out of the box, they're incredible. Not only are they comfortable and wrapped around you, but you can slide the seat forward and backwards, but for the first time ever, you can lower the seat by two inches in the cockpit. One of the first things we did here at Pitbull was immediately take the stock wheels and tires off. We went from a 29 inch Bighorn and a 14 inch rim to a new set of the STI 15 inch rims and the 32 inch Chicane RX from STI. These wheels and tires gained us a few more inches of ground clearance, a little bit more width and a lot more aggressive look. I love this tire and wheel on it. It accents the factory suspension very well. This thing's got 20 inches of suspension travel front and rear. Looks incredible. These are 32s and this machine swallows them like they're not even there. It's awesome. Our rear suspension is the twin trailing arm. Unlike our competitors, this is seriously built for off-road. This is not a toy. They got heavy duty trailing arms. Our control arms are much bigger, thicker. You're not gonna have to go replace them right off the bat. They even re-arch the lower one to gain it more ground clearance. The way the suspension bolts in, nobody in the industry builds anything this heavy duty right out of the box. The rear suspension on these things is incredible. They also have the Q-Link system in the back so you can put the factory cooler in, you can put the factory storage, you can mount a spare tire system. They also have a double rack system that raises and lowers, all built into the back of the bed. What's even cooler than that is, the top half of the cage. This thing is incredibly low right out of the factory so the cage isn't sticking up real high. Gives it an awesome look and makes it easier to get in your toy hauler. This new triple cylinder engine is incredible. 154 horsepower. This is not a new motor for Can-Am. It's been around for a while. They've had it in the uh, Sea-Doo for a while. They also had it in the snowmobile. So the engine's been with the industry quite a while and makes incredible power and extremely quiet when you start it. It's almost like starting up a luxury car. The front end of these new Maverick X3s is incredible. They didn't skip any steps. Comes with a re-arched lower A-arm from the factory. All of us off-road guys, the first major mod we do suspension-wise is always changing the lower A-arms, getting more ground clearance, getting that A-arm up and protected. It's right out of the box and it's heavy duty. They didn't skip any steps there either. They went to a front sway bar system. So out of the box from the factory, this comes with a front and rear sway bar. And you can disconnect those for more rock crawling applications. Another really cool thing is they mounted the front shock way out on the edge, maximizing that Fox shock on the suspension travel that it has. Again, 20 inches of travel in the front, out of the box from the factory. That's incredible. The steering ties into the spindle on the upper and the lower side of it. So when the steering linkage goes in there, it's secured both top and bottom, which gives you more strength, less vibration issue of it coming loose, and more fun on the trails. The headlights on these new Maverick X3s are really cool. Projector beam headlights complete with the LED accents. And then we also have this LED strip running up here. It gives it a new car look, a lot like the Chevrolet Denali's. 
Gives it a modern edge and man, this beast deserves some good eyes. The front suspension of these X3s is even cooler yet. The front shocks come through the hood, makes it easy access to adjust the shocks. What's also cool about that is the front shocks are laying in on the maximum angle, which gives that suspension the most travel. And then you can control it with a quick, easy adjustment of the preload, the dampening, the high speed, and the low speed. The suspension is kick butt. The new cup holders are located in a great position. With the motor being in the rear now, they're not going to heat your drink up, but they're going to help you the cooler. The new Maverick X3s are incredible. This particular machine here at Pitbull Power Sports is my new demo. I'm excited to have this machine, get it out there on the trails. We're going to get it to Little Sahara. We're going to be at Soggy Bottom. We're going to go out to all the off-road parks, and we're going to have a blast in this thing. If you guys want to ride one, come into Pitbull Power Sports. Well, we had one at Pitbull's Power Sports. They're going fast. Hey!